Duh, why does that happen? It's like a giant tumor grow on my fucking ceiling. It's wonderful. What's going on guys? Cardock, back again with some more Astroneer. Um, I know I said it, the game was on pause. Um, I'm figured, well, fuck it. I may as well go ahead, get my ass to the fucking Winter World. Or Tundra Wonderland, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And uh, I was going to go finish up the what I can do for now and wait for the next update. Um, it'll be the last planet that we haven't been to. So, well, aside from the moon, but come on. Who cares about the moon? I'm also very happy to announce I have finally figured out my lighting issue. <laughs> You couldn't tell. The, the the quality of the light is so much better now. And it literally it took me adjusting one little lamp and playing with some filters. And now I actually look like a human being and not some kind of like fucked up deformed thing with way too many splotchy colors on him. So let's get right into this then, shall we? Alright, so um, I've done a little bit of off-camera recording, or uh, off-camera work on this. Um, picked up some more, uh, some more stiff for when we go off to our new little, uh, our new world. Like brave little adventurers that we are. Alright, so what do we got? This is aluminum. Fourth aluminum and a copper. Now we want to keep those. Let's keep those. Uh, oh shit, you fucker! Come on, Kimmy, Kimmy. I don't want it on the back. I want them, just want organization. Is that so much to ask for? Come on, piece of shit. I'm not used to being able to jump and play too much long dark. But yeah, I just did the final checks on my Amazon cart. My new mic, or my new boom will be in for my microphone. There will be no more of this eating the mic because it sits right here. It will instead be up here. And I've checked on the sound quality using a very, very sophisticated test of holding the microphone upside down with my hand as I talked into it. And it actually turns out the sound quality is much, much, much better just by moving the fucking mic. So it's making me very happy to know that this is not a problem that I'm going to have to deal with for much longer. Because, quite frankly, it's rather annoying having this thing sitting right in my face. <laughs> but, um... But, yeah, basically, I mean, uh, this is... It's the unfortunate thing with indie games like this, is we're about to hit the end of what we can do in-game. There's no story mode right now. It's basically just game mechanics, and that's what you get to play with, so... You know, it's kind of one of those... We gotta wait until the next big, uh... The next big update drops, and... Hopefully it will be something to do with story mode. That or the ability to fly around the planet. Because I would really like to fly around the planet. That would be fun. But I mean, there's just really not that much I can do anymore as far as this goes. So I'm like, you know, I'm feeling a little stuck. Because <clears throat> I don't want to just keep doing the same old redundant thing. Now, those of you that do enjoy watching me play, um... Would you like, if you would like to see more of more content from a of Astroneer, um, I would, I beg of you to uh, let me know in the comments. Give me some ideas of what to do because right now I don't, I don't really have anything else to do. I mean, it's just like I said, you know, I've kind of, I've kind of run dry on the uh, the whole what's next. And I could have sworn, yeah, there's definitely a way down. Oh, okay, I see it now. Fuck you, Sarlacc Pit. I am happy to say I have not eat, been eaten by one of those yet. Alrighty then. So we're going to be down here looking for some compound and resin and not a clipping ground. Fuck, I hate when it does this. Oh, wait, that's not clipped. That's just color change. I hate when it clips, though, because it, it's fucking nerve-wracking as shit. Because, like, seriously, one false move and I fall through the fucking planet. And where it pops you out is anyone's fucking guess. Like, fuck. Where the fuck? I don't think my tethers ended here, did they? Maybe they did. Or maybe I'm crazy. What? I can't tell what's ground and what's clipping. Ugh. 
That's the other thing is I am I am so fucking sick of this broken the brokenness of some of the portions of this game and it it makes me even more upset that I actually contact the developers about the game asking them like hey is there what's going on there's a lot of glitches and I just I get fucking ignored like uh it rub, it, ro it really does rub me the wrong way uh, like if I pay fucking you know 20 bucks for your fucking broke ass game and you don't even have the decency to answer me when I get in touch with you reach out to you actually in the middle of YouTube uh, recording a YouTube video I actually had it was the the episode where the the trucks went fucking crazy and disappeared on me um I actually stopped and made a special segment in the game or in the or in the clip for the developers and went back and had to completely separately oh, god damn it that was my own stupid fault I had to completely separately edit that in order to uh so that they could see it, so they could see what was going on with their game, so that maybe they could fix it and prevent other players from seeing it. Sent them the edited footage, sent them that email, sent them a second email, and still have yet to hear back from them. Like, I get it, they're a big company, or maybe they're not, maybe they're a small company, that even just, that just served to piss me off even more. But either way, you know, like, I can understand, like, if there's a bug in, in like, a Bethesda game, them not talking to every single individual person but when you've got a beta game like this out and you've got just regular old players testing this for you basically like I'm paying to test a game for them the least they can do is listen to my fucking feedback you know what do y'all reckon do y'all think the game do y'all think the developers should, should, should do a lot better about responding to their customers or do you think maybe I should just quit my whining and fucking play this broken ass fucking game I'm sorry it's just, it's just extremely frustrating I didn't have anything on my person when I went down there that I didn't just get back so <clears throat> but yeah I mean if y'all got some ideas for stuff I could do on here that would um, give you a little more content if you just want to keep seeing me run around as my little my little spaceman then I'm more than happy to do it. It's just that I don't I don't know what to do next. It's not that I dislike playing the game. Well, I'm disliking this fucking all the ground clipping and bullshit that's going on. But that's obviously not going to change anytime soon. So I think it's a little crying or spilled milk kind of shit. But um, yeah, if y'all got some ideas for other stuff I can do, please do let me know. I, I'd be more than happy to to take some uh, viewer uh, suggestions. I saw copper. I don't want copper. The compound. Give to me the compound. Yeah. Oh, who knows? Once we get up to the um, once we get up to the 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 winter planet, the tundra planet, maybe maybe we'll have us a challenge that I'll have to figure out how to fucking beat. Who knows? Because you've got at least this episode where I'm gonna head off up there. To, to watch and so you know who knows what the what the future may hold but I don't know until either an update comes out or until they do something to patch this this game where it's not gonna cause this massive clipping issues and it's not my computer I know it's not my computer because I've had other I've seen other videos where where, where players are experiencing the exact same problem uh, the fucking game just just breaking itself effectively But it seems like nothing's changing. I mean, all this aluminum's nice, but it's not what I need right now. I need compound. I really don't want to have to go and take the time to build the fucking to build a fucking trading station just to start collecting the compound again. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I don't think I've got enough resin right now to build a trading station. So double whammy. Ow! Damn it! Fell in the hole. Probably should be down here anyway. There's a storm coming. Our, I'm gonna check and see if I've got enough resin. Cause if I've got enough resin, I'm gonna go ahead and build a um, a trading station and just fucking swap out all this extra aluminum and copper I've got for the fucking. Uh, I've got one resin there I can see, but I think that's all I've got, and that's really unfortunate if that's the case. 
We've got one resident and one compound, and that sucks. Do I have a research station built? No, I don't, because I'd already researched everything, so I don't want to waste the fucking materials. God damn it. Kind of biting my, kicking myself in the ass right now. Oh, shit, we've got this big-ass spaceship. Why don't we just fly back to one of our other planets? Actually, yeah, let's go back to our home world real quick. And we'll go and, and mine us up some resources. And then we'll head, uh... We'll, uh... We'll come out here and do that, then. Or do the, uh... We'll head to the, the Tundra planet from our home planet. Uh, in the meantime... I'm gonna take as much goodies with me as I can, simply so if... I don't feel, or just in case I can't go, I can't start easily finding the resources I need. I could just sell the ones that I have. <laughs> so we've got the trading station back on the home planet. Anything else we want to take with us? Nostalgia's sake. Got another two slot there. Actually, yeah, I want to take this one. Because this one was cool, and I was just like, oh, that's a badass little fucking research pod. So he'll go back with us to our home base. Now we are... More than fueled up, so we're good on that. Now let's. So we're gonna head back to our home planet real quick, pick us up some goodies. Farewell to this shithole. And looks like the Tundra planet is finally coming to our orbit. So. This should be fun. Oodles of fun. Hello, Big Ugly. First place I saw. Seems like a great idea, right? We're not really on top of a mountain this time. That's nice. Alright, I can already see that the drill is going to be a thing. Uh, what's that? Resin or hydrazine? Probably hydrazine, knowing this planet. Plenty of spiky places. Alrighty then. Let's hop to it then. Damn, I should have built a habitat. Fuck me. Alright, well. Make do with what we got. I do suppose. Bury the boy, bury the boy. Alright, um... Alright, so far so good. It's starting to come into shape. Still really need that sun to come up though. Well, exploration ain't gonna hurt nothing though. Oh, that is resin, wow. No, it's not, it's hydrazine. Damn it. So, is this lithium or titanium? I think that's titanium. Right? Yeah, it's titanium. Titanium. Yes, you need a duty. <clears throat> now, I think about it, I probably could have just built the bulk of my little house underneath this, uh, where I've got it extending out, but think that would have involved thinking something I'm not very well known for. So. Ah, why does that happen? It's like a giant tumor grow on my fucking ceiling. It's wonderful. So far, I've not found anything. I haven't really ventured all that far, but still, I have not found anything of the uh, resiny type. So, the hunt must continue. Guess we gotta go deeper. Oh no, fuck you guys. Oh Jesus, there's so many of these things. I'm really intrigued to see what happens as far as this whole seeds thing goes. I know they haven't been implemented yet, but... 
and you can't trade them either, which I was really disappointed about and kind of like perplexed. I'm like, you're on an alien planet. I would think the local fauna would fetch quite a high price to the research markets back on Earth, but you know, what do I know about you know standard rules of economy and whatnot? No, well, we figured out what this channel video is. Chant. Whoa, what is this? Thruster? Um, what? That's going straight back to the surface. Call thing. What the hell is this thruster, though? What is what does this do? I'm assuming it can be like a part to a spaceship or something, but uh, to what extent? What well, what? I I can't I can't figure out what this would be used on. <laughs> Put it on the bottom of a habitat and just poosh, wherever you land, that's where your new base is. That would actually be a pretty cool mechanic. I would, I could get behind that. Just random base starting by using a thruster and launching yourself, wherever the fuck you go. I don't, but I really don't understand what this would be used for. Like this is just this is alien to me. I don't understand the purpose of this thing. I really don't. We'll set that aside for now. Um, oh, yeah, drop off all the shit. Drop off the boo shit that we don't need. Okay. I tell you, though, once we get us uh, one more piece of resin, we're going to be in business because I've got a shit ton of titanium that can all go towards the production of... Excuse me, or the, the buying of other resources, so... Let me go ahead and see if coal can be burned with the backpack generator. I don't think it can. I know it burns organic, but I don't think it also can burn coal. I mean, there's only one, only one way to find out, you know, is to burn some fucking coal and see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't look like it'll take it. That's disappointing. Oh. Astronium? Ooh. I don't know what it does, but interesting, I suppose. Yeah, I don't really know what the next logical step would be, because I'm out of tethers, I'm out of compound. Like, if I had one more resin, I'd be fine. I'd be perfectly fine. I'm gonna have to. I I really do think I'm gonna have to actually leave the planet to go get more resin. That's. Uh, it's not. It's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. And now we wait again. Maybe slingshotting to one planet will let me use that to jump to the other planet. That it's gonna make it take that much longer. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? I'm gonna keep bouncing from planet to planet. I mean, I got plenty of fuel, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm not even halfway down on my fuel yet. I'm just gonna keep bouncing the planets. Eventually, I'm gonna run out of juice and I have to land on one. But every, I think every planet that I've been to, I've got a fuel condenser built on, so I'm not really terribly worried about it. Still just out of reach of the Tundra planet. Of course I am. It looks like the exotic planet might be close, so I guess we'll try that one out too, huh? Nowhere near. I effectively just did nothing but use fuel. 
Oh, finally. There we go. Or is it moving away? No, don't tell me it's moving away. <laughs> Alright, we are finally, like, 20 minutes later, able to get back to the fucking Tundra Planet. Like, I've seriously been watching YouTube videos, just chilling, waiting for this fucking thing to turn around. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait for our home base to show. Oh, no. I didn't mark which one was the home. Fuck me. Please let this be just the right one. By some miracle, let me just drop down on the exact right place. No. No, that's not what's going to happen here. You know what, guys? Maybe one day we'll find that old base again. I don't know. I'm I'm a little butt hurt right now. Uh, we're gonna have to make a new base. So that happened. Wonderful. Um, but actually, now that I'm looking, I am all out of time for recording. So why can I not? And looks like my game just is fucking broke or some shit. I, I don't... Mm. I don't know. Um, honestly, this is probably going to be the last episode of Ashtonir I do. Uh, until they have sent out a patch or an update or something. Because, I mean, the the whole losing the base thing, that's entirely on me. That's nothing, that's nothing of the game's fault. That's my fault. But shit like this where... I'm clicking, and I can't fucking... I can't even start my new base. I've lost my old one. I can't start a new one. Life as I know it has ended. Okay, not really. But, yeah, this is going to be the last episode of Ashton Year I do until they get another update. Um, I will probably be starting a new save file when that happens. So, um, I guess keep y'all's eyes out for it. Um, <clears throat> the next big series I'm going to be doing are two series that I think will have a lot of replayability, for one, and for two, we'll be able, I'll actually be really engaged with, and because they'll be new games, um, are Subnautica and, or, or um, um, Oxygen Not Included. So, be, I'll be looking for those to come out. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>